Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to edit PDF files on iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. You can actually edit PDF files a little bit by simply using the Files app on your iPhone. So if you go over here and if you have the PDF file saved, then you can open it, you can press this pen icon in the circle, and now you have some tools that you can use. You can, for instance, highlight something. You can press on this box with uh, three dots in order to create a uh, text field. You can press this plus button and then add text form box. And if you tap over here, then you can start typing. Let's try one more time. There we go. And of course, once you are done, you can press done over here in the top right corner in order to save it. Of course, this is just adding a simple text. Of course, you can still re uh, you can reposition the text. You can move it around if needed. You can edit it. You can expand the field and so on and so forth. You can also change the font, the text whole. You can format it. You can change the size of the font and so on and so forth. So you have actually a pretty, uh, pretty good list of options over here. Like I said, you also have some markers that you can highlight the text and so on and so forth. You can adjust the color and much more. However, if you, for instance, want to make some additional changes that might not be uh, present in the default editor, you can use a third-party app that allows you to edit uh, PDF files. For instance, one of them is the uh, cam scanner. Uh, let's actually go back over here. I had something opened over here. Let's cancel that. And essentially, what you can do is, for instance, convert uh, photos and files into a PDF file. So if you, for instance, have two uh, PDF files, you can pretty much convert them into one. The same goes with some text documents. Uh, that you may have created by, for instance, using Google Docs. You can also merge photos into a single PDF file as well. Over here, as you can see, we have these two options to import images and files. And essentially, there are some tools that you can use. For instance, over here, you can switch to tools. We can add a watermark, we can reorder pages, and so on and so forth. So if you're missing some features, you should give it a try. The app can be, of course, downloaded from the App Store. This is the one. Uh, that I'm talking about, so you can uh, try to find it in the App Store and install it as well. Of course, there are multiple different apps that work in a pretty si in pretty much the same way. Um, they are alternatives to that one that I've shown you. This is just an example, so feel free to try different apps as well. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next videos. Bye.